Welcome to this short video explaining the differences between our old and new CRD rescue devices. Enabling you to have the knowledge to safely operate each of our devices as we transfer from the older model over to the new range. It is important to understand that this is not a replacement for practical training and should only be used as a guide for trained operators to familiarize themselves with the differences between the two types of device. In this first part, we are going to look at the basic functions of the new CRD device. Out of the bag, the new CRD will be set in a bi-directional free descent mode where either side of the device can be used for self-evacuation or for rescue. The new device can also lift and lock in both directions, giving much more flexibility over the old model. To lock the device, push the sliding button on the rear of the device from the same side as you are loading, the live side. If you are using the left side rope, push from left to right. If using the right side rope, push right to left. This will lock the device so it will hold a user or casualty in a static location. When locked, you can turn the wheel to lift the casualty. To lift more efficiently, you can slide out the handle on the control wheel. If you have switched the lock button to the wrong side, you will be unable to lift. If this happens, simply push the locking button over to the opposite side. To be able to switch the device to a free running mode to allow for self evacuation or the lowering of a casualty, first grip the control wheel with one hand and slightly turn the wheel to lift the load off the lock mechanism. Then carefully push the switch over to the central position. Before letting go of the control wheel, make sure to have your hand on the control rope that is looped over the side hooks. This will give you full control of the descent speed. The slack or dead end of the rope can be looped over the corresponding hook on each side of the device. This should be done by looping the rope from the wheel side towards the back of the device, not from the rear towards the front. When there is a load being held on the locking function, the sliding button will not be able to be moved by a single action, preventing the uncontrolled release of a casualty. If the button has been pushed all the way over from the lock side to the opposite side, and not positioned back to the center, it will not impede or affect the descent, but you will be able to hear the locking ratchet function while lowering. If safe to do so, stop and hold the wheel and adjust the button back to the center. In this section, we are going to look at the functions of the old type CRD. One of the main differences is the way you lock the old device to enable the operator to go hands-free from the device when there is a load on it and also to allow the lifting of a casualty. To lock the device, get the tail or dead end of the rope coming from the device and then pass it over the hook on the side of the device. The hook is only on the right hand side of the device as you look at it from the rear. The rope must feed over the hook from the front or wheel side of the device towards the rear. The rope can then be placed into the locking cam cleat. When it is in the cam cleat, the user is able to use the control wheel to lift a casualty. 
The handle can be folded out to allow for more efficient lifting if needed. It is important to ensure that on both devices that the lifting handle is stored in its closed position before a self-evacuation or lowering of a casualty. As the operator is lifting, they will need to pull the slack rope through the locking cam cleat every 15 to 30 centimeters of lift for the device to self-lock without too much downwards motion. To take the rope out of the locking cam, it will be necessary to hold onto the control wheel with one hand before pulling the rope out of the locking cleat using the other hand. Before releasing grip of the control wheel, be sure that the slack side of the rope is still over the hook and the tail end of the rope is firmly held to allow full control of the descent. If you need to stop and go hands-free or use the lift mechanism, place the rope back into the locking cam cleat. 